Hi there, my name's Sandy, I'm from Spiral Crafts and Workshops and today's tutorial is about making butterflies from copper wire. Now if you're just starting out on your wire art journey, do check the channel out. We've got more videos there that will help you on your journey. And if you want to be notified about new videos that are coming up, then click the subscribe button down below and the bell next to it and you'll get notifications. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Right, let's get going. I'm going to change the camera angle, we'll take a look at the tools we need and then we'll start with the making. Okay, so here we are. I've got everything out and ready. This is the butterfly we want to make. I'm going to pop that over there so it's still in view. And this is the copper wire I'm going to make it with. This is a one millimeter copper wire with a red color added on the outside. I'm also going to use a craft wire in a gold color and this is a 0.6 or a 0.7. I think this is a 0.6 millimeter craft wire. 0.7 would probably work as well and that's a, a copper wire as well. Along with that I'm going to need a set of tools, I'll come to that in a minute. Uh, I've got side cutters which are for chopping your wire at the end. I've got a pair of round nose pliers, pop that in a second. So I've got a pair of round nose pliers um, which are regularly used in jewellery making as well as are the flat nose pliers um, which are very useful as long as you can see on the inside of the jaws here, they need to be flat really, you don't want ones with ridges on, particularly if you're using coloured wire because it can strip the colour off where you, you sort of, where you attach, where you clasp the, the wire, it can, it can damage the colouring, so, so do get ones with, uh, with a nice flat inside on there. There is another video about your tools, if you check out the channel, um, you can see that and it will give you all the details. Right, the other things you need, which are these strange objects that we have here, these are just two circular objects that are found in the house. Um, if you wanted to get something fancy that you could use, like metal tubing, that's fine. Um, but I usually just hunt around the house for something that I can use. And the reason we want these is to form the loops here. It's much easier to get a nice uh, circle, pull these back, much easier to get a nice circle if you've got something to actually wrap the wire around. Circles are quite difficult to make and the eye can see any imperfections really easily. So you really want to, to have something to wrap your wire around. You need two sizes. You need the larger size, which I'm going to use the, uh, the neck of the, the tube, the sort of pot here. The, the neck for the one size and then I'm going to use the neck of this one, this is a ceramic one um, to do the, the second size of the, the bottom loop down here. This one when I made it you can see looks looks a little bit strange because they're the similar size here and here so top and bottom but the, the one I'm going to make now is going to be a lot more bigger at the top and smaller at the bottom. Right. So what you're looking for when you go around the house is just two items that are circular that you can wrap your wire around, that you can get your wire off again afterwards. This might be a little bit tricky because it's got a lip on it, um, as has this one, but we'll manage, I'm sure. Um, and that are safe to use, really. So you want plastic or ceramics or metal or something like that. Um, and that people won't mind you running off with and putting it into your, your craft room and never come out again, which is what usually happens with mine. So I'm going to have those in the, the back as well. Now what I'm not going to do, I know there's a ruler here, but what I'm not going to do is measure the wire. And the reason for that is, it is easy, watch this go flip, that's what I'm going to stop now. Right, it is easy um, to measure a piece of wire, to cut it, and then to, to run out of wire. So I don't want to run out of wire by, with, with, by the time I get to the antenna and not have enough wire. Um, it's a good habit to get into, to not cut your length of wire. It can make it a little bit difficult when you're making to have the wire attached, especially when it's a big reel like this. Um, but it is a good, a good habit to get into because it saves any worries about running out of wire because you're still running on the, the main reel. So, I'm not going to measure anything, but I am going to take my wire. I'm going to give it a bit of a, just to straighten out the, there we go, to 
So just, just run your fingers down the opposite side to the bend. So this is bending this way, so I'm going to bend it the other way. And that'll just straighten out some of the, the loops and some of the kinks. Um, be careful because if you do that too much, you can get a bit, bit hard on your hands. I've got used to it, so my fingers are a lot more uh, robust now. And I'm going to start with the end of the wire, and we're going to make the first antenna. So I'm going to pop uh, quite a big loop, so I'm going to go halfway down the pliers. I'm going to make sure there's not too much sticking out, and I'm just going to wrap the wire. I can take it off and carry on wrapping. I'm just going to rotate like that, so that we've got that kind of a shape made for the antenna. I'm actually going to wrap it a bit further because I want it a bit more of a loop like that. So there we go, I've got a nice antenna, flatten it out a little bit. So we've got the antenna there all ready to go. Now I'm going to start with this one, so I'm going to turn the wire over so that it actually matches that one there. So it's sticking that way. So my next job is to do the top wing. I'm going to grab my item, so I'm going to leave a little bit of a, a length for the antenna and then I'm going to put the wire on my item and just wrap it round, all the way around my circular item that I found at the cupboard. Wrap it round like that all the way so that it goes all the way around. You'll find it will come out like that flip off and lift it. So there you've got, let's flatten it so it's all in the same plane, like that you've got your first part of your wing. So your second part, I'm going to put my second item in and you want to pop it there like that. Again I just need to unroll a bit of this, straighten it out. I'm going to pop it into the, the V shape here just gently place it in place and I'm just going to do the same thing again. I'm going to go round the object. And so it can be a bit difficult when you've got the wire on a reel. And I'm going to stop at that point where it's just crossed here. So I'm going to open it out and let that out. There we go. And I'm going to do that back up. And there. So what you want is a cross, perpendicular um, cross like that. So that's first half. Probably curl it up a bit more like that. First half of your butterfly already starting to form. Um, not quite exactly where we want it yet, but but it will be. Let's bring it down here soon. There we go. So we've got the first half of the butterfly starting to show. So then this wire wants to go horizontal across the butterfly. So I'm just going to, into the V shape here, I'm just going to put my, my item that I'm moulding around and I'm just going to wrap the wire nice and tight so it takes that circular shape. Oops, I'm going to stay on top because that's where all the other wires have gone, on top. And I'm going to, till it crosses here, I'm just going to wrap it round until it crosses the original wire. I'm just going to gently, it is better if you can get an item without a lip on it because it makes releasing a lot better. Right, so I know it's not looking much like a butterfly now, it's looking a bit weird, but we should have, pull this out of the way, we should have two pretty symmetri same sized symmetrical um, loops, but mine aren't that symmetrical, so I'm just going to feed a little bit more wire down into what I've got, so that they start to look so once you put your, your first loop in, that's not the end of the story. There's plenty of time for it to, to be manipulated into what you want. So there we go. There's our, our second loop on our butterfly. 
don't worry about this, just bring this out of the way. And then we're going to grab our first container again and pop it into the V shape here. So I'm going to keep this out of the way. You've got your wire coming up and you've got a V shape in here. Pop it in there. Don't force it, just, just gently place it. And then you can wrap your wire. It does get awkward, don't worry about it. That's, that's wire art all over. And then you just want to wrap your wire. Keep the, the wire on top and a little bit more out. And go all the way around. Whoops. Let's grab the wire, that's better. As you can see, it can be a bit fiddly, don't worry about it. And then all the way around. Get that on top where I want it. Until you cross over your original wire again. A little like that. I'm just going to release that and have a look because I think I've got some kinks in it, so I have. So that didn't quite work as well as, as the last time, and I think it's a little smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it out a little bit. I haven't got it how I want it, it's not symmetrical. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to put the wire back on the top in the position I want it this time and then I'm going to pull it round in the same area pull it tight so it takes the shape there we go and pop it back out again so now we've got pull this bit up a little bit We've got something that's about the same size. We've got some little kinks in it, but we'll worry about that later. So we've got something about the same size. And we can see that we're now coming to the end of, of our make. We're going to need a length of wire to there with a little bit extra for the loop. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of, uh, of extra to play with. Snip that off there. And there you have it. It doesn't look like much yet, does it? So, this is where we start manipulating the, the butterfly so that this, this line wants to be, this one here, wants to be horizontal across the butterfly. So I'm playing with that to make sure it, it does what we want it to. I want the antenna, which has got itself looped in there, to come round and up. So I'm going to help that to come round and up. So I'm going to put this loop behind there. I'm going to put that loop behind there because that helps them to stay in place. And I'm going to just move it around until you get the kind of shape when you pull it together like that. So that goes behind. There we go. So you can see it's starting to come now. To some of the kinks, I'm going to just ease those out as well. I've got a really big kink just just here. I don't know if you can if you can see it. I can, so I'm just going to open that out gently, and then gently bring the wire back round so it's a bit less. So, so I'm going to put that behind. Put that be those two loops. Behind, it's down, and just just play around with it until you've got it. If you hold it in there, then you can see the sort of shape that you that you're dealing with. Right. So what I'm going to do next is, well now I've got it roughly where I want it. And I'm going to grab the other wire, and I'm just going to, and I'm going to cut a length of this because it's it's easier to judge. So this is around um, 7 inches which is about 19 centimetres. And I'm just going to give that a cut, not being too picky about where I'm doing it. 
put those up there out of the way and the cutters out of the way. So this wires to do the wrapping around the centre of the, the butterfly. I'm just going to straighten this a little bit so it's easier to work with. And there we go. It's a little bit better. Get this kinked. So if you take your butterfly, get your butterfly where you want it. I'm going to do this, this last antenna last when I've got everything in place and I know where everything else is. And where you've got your, your finger and thumb there, I'm just going to put a bend. So I'm going to bend this wire like that. Gives you a nice V shape that you can use. I'm going to hold this in place like that. I'm going to put this behind. So this goes down through the big hole and the other end comes up through the little hole, the big hole, sorry comes up through the opposite side, like that, and then I'm going to wrap, so the whole idea is to pull that like that, so it goes up and over the top and this one comes up over the top, so you've taken the piece from here and pulled it over, and the piece that comes up through here goes over that way, and it's, if you get it nice and tight, it'll hold everything in place on the first loop. But that's just the first loop. I'm going to put that there because I want it behind. That's just the first loop. And then what you want to do is you can hold on to the little... I'm going to turn it upside down because I'm going to wrap down this way. So I'm going to take the big piece and go down through the loop, keep it tight, up through the other, the other wing, keep it tight against the... And there we go, we've got a second. It's, it's a lot like um, jewellery wrapping. So you're just wrapping the wire, so you're going down this side and pulling it oops, through the hole. And don't worry if you find it fiddly. It is fiddly, actually. But just take your time. Come down that way, come up through the hole on the other side. And just make sure that this wire here is nice and tight. If you have to hold the other end, that's fine. Just make sure it is nice and tight. So I'm going to carry on doing that. I'll go quiet for a minute and I'll speed it up. And I'll just keep wrapping until I get to the end of the wire. Or if I've wrapped enough of the, the body that I'm happy with it, then I'll stop then as well. So I'm going to stop at this point, I'm just going to have a look at what I've got and I think I want a little bit more wrapping but what I also want to do is these are a little bit spaced out so I'm just going to put the pliers on either side of the coil and just press them in together like that and do the same on the other side and nice and even and tight and then I'm going to slide them up the body gently that's it, so that I can carry on wrapping a little bit down below. So we go up and over, right, so I'm where I want to be, I'm just going to push them all up again, so I'm just going to push them all up there, push them all up there but we've got a couple of little ends that we we need to do something with so ideally you want these this is going to be my front I've got this horizontal line at the back so this is going to be my front so I'm going to fold this one over till it's it's at the back and when it's at the back I'm going to snip it off and then the little tail end that's there just use your pliers To actually press it down, I need to rotate your butterfly quite a bit. And before you press it too tight, have a look at your butterfly. Start getting it into the final position. So you're happy with the, the loops, you're happy with the antenna, 
kind of happy with where that's going. So we've got the antenna there. Just going to flatten it down a bit, move that in. And then same again with this one, you just take that to the back. This is still sticking out a bit, I can still feel it, so I'm just going to get the pliers on it. Be careful when you do this bit because you can, if, particularly if you're using coloured wire, you can take the colour off. So this one's now gone to the back. Grab my side cutters, give it a snip. And by taking it to the back, it just, just saves you having the, the loose ends sticking out at the front, that's all. Give it a squeeze to make it nice and firm. I've got everything where I wanted to beforehand. So there we are, we're almost there now. I've got a butterfly like that. If you wanted to shape the wings into something fancier, you can do. But first, I know I'm going to need, let's do it the other way, so I need at least that much to do my antenna, but there's a loop as well. So from there, I'm going to go up to about there. Do it by eye, really. Give it a snip. Grab your round nose pliers and do the same thing you did. Just pop them in the pliers like that so you can feel a little bit and rotate your wire or rotate your pliers so that you've got. Now, this happens quite a lot. So they are equal. So I've still left. I always try to leave a little bit extra um, because I'm always frightened of cutting too much off. So I didn't cut enough off. So we just repeat the process, take the loop off, don't go too far down, grab your pliers, pop them in, fold it down and under, and eventually you get somewhere in the right area of, of what you want. Still not quite the same, but they look okay to me. What I could do to make it a bit better is, again, you have to stop at some point doing this because you don't want to lose all of your antenna. But I can just get in there, cut a little bit off, bring this down nice and tight. And they look a lot more even. Not quite there, but you know. None of us are the same on both sides, I don't think. There we go. So you've now got two antennas that look a lot better, a lot more even. And you've got your butterfly. So there you go. And you can make loads, you can make lots of different sizes. Um, again, you can, uh, if you make them galvanised steel, you can hang them out in the garden. With this one I've got two bits of the body, with this one I've just done one body. Um, if you wanted to, you could you could carry on right the way down to make it a much longer body and keep those two, two wires together as well. Um, but I quite like it there, it holds it nice and, and firm. It is still bendy, be careful, the, the wire is still, it's still copper wire, it's still bendy. Um, but you can do lots of different things with them, you can put them on cards, you can make them in different sizes. Again, if you go up a size, so if you go on to much larger than this and you want to do them really large, then you need to have a wire that, that will take that structure. So the one millimeter will probably not be good enough to do something a lot larger and you probably need to go up to a two millimeter. But it's, it's trial and error with these things. You can give it a go and see how it looks and, and if you, it can make you your best guess at it and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But you always manage it somehow. So there you have it. One butterfly made out of two different sorts of wire, a couple of pots that are foraged around the house and some basic tools. If you like the video then please do give us a thumbs up down below and if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe, hit the, the bell button as well and you'll get notifications and we'll have new videos coming up as we go along. If there's anything you'd like to see us make then please do put a comment down below and I'll have a look and get back to you with whether we can do one or not 
and get it up on the YouTube channel as soon as possible. That's great, thank you for watching and we'll see you again.